Hi, I am Harish Gaudeti and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, we will continue our discussion on AWS organizations. I am going to talk about, uh, uh, this will be a short video, I briefly I am going to share, uh, you know, what is organizations, uh, sorry, organizational unit, um, right, and how do you create one and why they are used, um, the organizational units and, uh, you know, the best practices around organizational units. So. Let's dive in. So this is uh, AWS organization's um, console, like in the management console. So when you expand the AWS accounts, click on AWS accounts, you will see the structure of the different accounts. Um, so here you will see that the ones that are with a folder icon are actually the organizational units uh, and one with this cube are actually the accounts. So you have a management account, which is the main account, then you have the um, the accounts um, the, the accounts that are not part of the organizational units outside so now let's talk about what is an organizational unit so the organizational unit is nothing but a group of accounts that you know that that are related that are related closely for example in this in this section you see an organizational unit called security so this is one of the best practices of uh, AWS multi-management account, uh, managing multiple accounts with AWS organizations. Basically, you need to have at least three different OUs, which is security, where you separate all the security-related uh, workloads, security-related services uh, are managed by that account, and that is security. Shared infrastructure is services like, for example, it could be a database, it could be containers, it could be EC2, shared across multiple teams, so shared infrastructure. And then finally, workloads. Workloads can be, you know, by different departments, by different team members, it doesn't matter, but workloads, uh, OU will have the, all the workloads uh, related accounts, right? So that is how these three are recommended and finally the fourth one which is really i mean the sandbox where you do all the testing where developers can test new things if you have a development team can do it so now that is the so this is a root uh, in the organizational unit and these are all the you know sub levels of the organizational units and one organizational unit can have multiple organizational units as well underneath but at any given point in time one ou will only have one root um, so that's how it is and also an account can only belong to one OU at this time in AWS. So right now I'll show you how to create an organizational unit and move an account uh, into the organizational unit. For example, right now we have an account called Sandbox which is not part of any OU and we want to put it as part of an organizational unit called Sandbox so that all the related accounts for developer testing, developers belong to that OU and we can apply a policy so the main reason for setting up OUs is really you can apply policies to at an organizational level or at a root level at an organizational unit level so that all the accounts for example security organizational unit maybe you have stricter restrictions and policies on who can access it who cannot access it and what can they access as part of that account um, you know, security service, only security services and not really the other services. So you can set up any way you want. So, and you don't have to do it for each account or end user. You can do it at a, set up a policy at the OU level and then it will, you know, it will uh, drill down, uh, it, it will apply for all the accounts and sub OUs within that organizational unit. So now let's create um, an OU. So when you click on root, you see all the children now in the actions if you create a new organization unit we'll call it sandbox because that's the account we don't have uh, that's the organization you don't have sandbox you can actually add a tag uh, right um, say oh you name and sandbox And you can create so now we have a unit, an organization unit called sandbox and we want to move this account into sandbox so you can select this actions move and you can select sandbox so that you want to move this and move so now you see that that account is no longer part of uh, our root it is part of the sandbox 
um, organization unit. So when you apply policies to the sandbox, uh, yeah, or you uh, maybe the sandbox is for one development team, you may have like sandbox account for another team, and you know stuff like that. So all those things you can have, um, you know, you can build them over here. So that's how it works. And here you see policies. We didn't um, do any policies, but I'm going to show you the service uh, control policies and stuff in next coming videos. But here I just want to show you how you create an AWS OU, uh, OU in an AWS organization. I hope this video is useful. Thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, let's uh, continue our journey with AWS organizations in the next video. Thank you.